If you're serious about bike riding, you should also be serious about safety. And it all starts with your head. Today's bike helmets meet all the required safety standards and come in a wide range of colours and styles, which means you can protect your head and look great doing it. Allegedly. A bike helmet is constructed of an exterior shell and an interior one made of polystyrene foam, designed to absorb shocks. When designing a helmet, artists take into account that for the safety helmet to be accepted by its younger users, it must also look stylish. Fabrication begins with the exterior shell. This polymer sheet is heated in a heat former at a temperature of 65 degrees centigrade. The sheet is suction fitted to fill all the cavities of the mold. This operation produces four shells. Then when cooled down and hardened, the four shells are cut by hand. Ventilation openings are cut with a heated wire. These openings have been preformed during moulding of the shell. The heated wire easily and neatly cuts the polymer. The next step is the trimming of the helmet to eliminate excess polymer. The circumference is manually cut using a router. The edges are then sanded to even them out. It's also possible to cut the circumference of the shell with a heated wire. This operation takes more time, but is much more precise because of the resulting cleaner cut. The foam interior of the helmet that will be placed inside the shell is made of polystyrene beads that will expand and bond together. This expander increases the volume of the granules that fall into it. Steam and an agitator force the polystyrene beads to expand uniformly. The granules are now ready. The contents of this bin will be able to produce about 20 foam pieces, which will take shape on moulds. The press closes up for six minutes. The particles are steam fused before being cooled with water. The foam is removed from the mould. Different designs are produced for different helmets. Depending on the helmet model, openings have to be made with this heat iron to allow for installation of an air vent. All that remains is to make the adjustment pads, cut with this press-powered stamper. The adjustments are held in with Velcro to allow easy adjustment of the helmet. Inserting the straps calls for good manual dexterity and takes only a minute. The shell and the polystyrene foam liner have to be joined. They're fitted one inside the other, then solidly secured. The helmet is now complete. And now it's on to packaging. The safety helmets have to be certified, guaranteeing their safety. Destructive tests are carried out on at least one helmet in 500. This facility can produce up to 4,000 helmets daily, in hundreds of models and over 500 variations. But whatever the design, safety helmets are a must every time we get on our bike. <laughs>